what's up guys this video will be the most important tutorial for Tyra engine uh, we will try to import uh, 3d models from the internet and this will be the static model and animated model also we will discuss a bit about the clipping issues in PlayStation 2 uh, about the textures how to convert them and we will work a little in blender so let's download blender prepare a cup of tea and let's get started so i found two two models on turboscreed.com and first is some stone bridge and uh, stegosaurus yeah this one this is the animated model and what is the difference between them uh, this uh, this model is not rigged yeah so it's a static one and this this model is rigged yeah maybe it is yeah it is is up there yeah as you can see rigged with bones and uh, when model is rigged we can animate them animate it in blender yeah so let's download them uh, link links will be in the description I, I already did this did it and uh, so we can stop uh, so uh, let's open blender and as first we will check these models yeah and i will describe you what we will check uh, we'll check the polygons count yeah, that is the most important thing because as you know playstation 2 have 20 23 years or 32 years right now so uh, we must so we must keep uh, low low poly yeah? Uh, let's open this stone bridge. Yeah, this was the OBG model. Okay, maybe go to texture mode. And texture was not loaded. Uh, let's go to this. Uh, oh, not this, but the stone bridge. And let's check what is in the NTL file. As you see, we have four textures here. Mm. It's pointing to the stone bridge, like, like this diffuse, diffuse texture. It's pointing to the stone bridge most diffuse. Uh, and there is no stone bridge most, there is stone bridge base. So probably it is a typo in the typo here. So let's, oh, not, not there, but let's fix it. And try to import model again. Uh, okay, so let's do it again, import obg. I, I don't know if I pronounce it properly, OBG or, or be what. <laughs> okay, we go to import. Oh, and as you see, it worked. Okay, so let's check how many polys uh, it have. Also, I will show you how to change the poly count. So let's click on the model. Uh, be sure that you are in the object mode. Go to properties, modifiers, and go to add modifier and add decimate. As you see, there is 4K uh, faces count. This is a pretty good number for PlayStation 2. Just remember that you can't import all PlayStation 2 models with or no, 100K policy yeah, because it's an overkill and it will. Yeah, j j uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 2 just will crash yeah, or something. So uh, I don't recommend you to do this. And okay, so mm, there is. That's it, yeah, we, we don't need to do anything with this model. Mm. So we can export it or just import it directly what, what it have, uh, what that, what it what we have there, yeah. Uh, so let's just copy it, mm, Togo Tyra. And where we will copy it? Maybe use one of the, one of the tutorials. Maybe we'll import it to DDoS uh, 2 tutorial because it's already loading static model so let's open the rest directory and also change the build directory to this tutorial so i will do it uh, two. okay and go to rest we'll create new folder mm, stone bridge and Copy, not copy all of this. Um, maybe let's talk a little the MTL file and, and how Tyra utilizes it. Uh, Tyra, uh, or maybe let's open OBG 
uh, also uh, as you see uh, in uh, in this file we have 3d data yeah? vertices which represent the triangle's position or vertex positions uh, normals which are uh, used for the lighting um, and texture coordinates and faces yeah so uh, we are building the triangles from these coordinates yeah so for example this line is one triangle yeah this is the first point second and third and this is the vertex index yeah this is the from what i remember texture yeah texture index uh, and uh, normal index from this this data yeah so this is for example one two three four yeah and so on and uh, tyra checks maybe let's find the use mtl checks how many materials this uh, this object have so let's count how many how many use mtl we have we have only one so we will have only one material in tyra and tyra uh, checks this name and goes to the to the mtl file and it's fetching this line for the ambient color and this line for the texture path and maybe it's not fully the texture path but it's fetching from this line texture name without extensions so for example you can have i don't know something like this and tyra will uh, try to fetch this this name and uh, use it later in the code maybe i will show you this uh, now as you remember in in uh, we are uh, adding uh, textures here and we are pointing to the mesh so this data yeah this data to the path where it should find the textures and extension of the textures currently tighter uh, supports only png so it will so for example if we will have three materials with three textures abc uh, that uh, that png here yeah three materials uh tyra will fetch a b c and we'll try to find it there so uh yeah maybe let's save it there yeah, as it is and uh, copy copy the stuff okay so let's copy the diffuse one and this these files also and we should try to import import stonebridge uh, okay so what we should do mm, we already have it there so let's rename maybe Linus to Stone Bridge. Uh, oh, maybe let's copy this name. Uh, okay, and also Stone Bridge here for the texture searching. And that's it. I don't know if the scale will be proper. Maybe do it. Maybe do one hundred. And so let's compile. Yeah, I just waited for it. Uh, there are two problems. Uh, yeah, you see only the one, but there is a uh, second two. Um, as first, Taya says that no material data found. Please add your MTL file. So it doesn't know where the MTL file is. So let's go to the object. Object, yeah, I'll how to say it. Um, uh, file and check what path to mtl file we have we have stone space bridge and what it is stone space, space bridge underscore obg mtl it looks okay mm, maybe the problem is in this space let's let's fix it oh so we have no github issue so probably when you're watching it, it was it is already fixed, yeah. But let's let's do it and also maybe change this one, this name, Stone Bridge, uh, and fix it there, Stone Bridge. Now it should be correct, yeah. We have this one, this one, yeah. Um, so maybe let's fix second uh, second issue too right now. Uh, the second issue is the texture. Uh, 
at iron supports certain resolutions let's let maybe let me show you the supported resolutions it should be right here yeah tiny supports uh, this resolution as max and these values as width and height yeah so this 8 16 32 probably this is the logarithm of or something or two two yeah never mind um so uh let's fix the texture yeah and maybe now let's check uh, what resolution it have right now let's go to properties yeah and this is a 2k so it's really uh, uh, really wrong value uh, yeah in playstation 2 era um, <laughs> 512 uh, pixels uh, with in width and height was really high resolution yeah so <laughs> you, must just, you must just keep it in mind so maybe let's change it to i don't know this value um, and export it and, and as you see maybe i will have a look what the mode this texture have yeah uh, there is one one information which uh, i want to show you uh, tyra supports two modes of png texture rgb rgb mode this is a classic one yeah you probably will see it in i don't know 99 of the textures and the indexed aka palletized mode and this palletized mode uh, dramatically in decreases uh, the PNG like the texture size yeah and we can push more the textures to the graphing synthesizer cache uh, not the cache but video video RAM so we can uh, use palletized and we will have better performance in Tyra but palletized uh, textures have one how to say they are wrong in something yeah they have uh, low quality when there is transparency yeah so for example if i if i if i now convert this texture to palletized you will see like no changes yeah let's do it as you see there is no changes but let me show you one, one thing so let's control z to uh, undo and let's maybe add some transparency to show you the problem with palletized textures let me let, maybe let's do this and um, maybe let's add some color, yeah. And uh, convert to palette. I thought maybe I will zoom up, uh, change to palette, indexed, yeah, palletized. And let's have a look. Do you see it? So I recommend you to use palletized, uh, palletized textures uh, as much as you can, uh, but with texture with no transparency, yeah, because this doesn't look good so now let's undo this stuff yeah <laughs> go to change it to palletized yeah and uh, export it yeah just just replace okay uh, let's close the gimp and try to load text no texture but model again yeah and it's working uh, let's have a look how this how this looks mm, i see first issue and second issue uh, first issue is this this triangle disappearing as you see we will fix it in a second and there is something wrong with the texture maybe let's have a look how this model looks on the internet yeah it looks totally different so uh, let's resolve both of them but as first, I will discuss this clipping problem. PlayStation 2 didn't have hardware clipping feature, yeah. So um, this was pretty. That was pretty hard to do proper clipping with good performance in PlayStation 2 because all of this code should be uh, should be done in assembly and in vector unit one, which we don't have debugger for it. We don't have anything, yeah. We just <laughs> there is like uh, curiosity yeah i will tell you how i debugging the v1 programs i'm opening the i'm uh, yeah writing the vector unit one assembly yeah <laughs> opening the pc 
this PCC X2, yeah, this emulator in debug mode, yeah, in Visual Studio. I'm just debugging the, the emulator and checking in the code of the emulator what data I have in vector unit uh, memory. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy, and I hate try to view one code because we, I don't have proper tools to do it. Uh, yeah, just never mind. Yeah, uh, let's go to the topic. Uh, and as you see, there it was. It is very hard to do uh, to do to do clipping properly, and we have two two ways how to fix it in Tyra. Uh, so maybe, yeah, and that's it. And when it comes to the textures, uh, texture this texture, uh, the texture coordinates are flipped. So uh, let's let's fix uh, fix the texture. So let's go to the code and you see that obg loader have options yeah so there is option to flip uvs flip texture coordinates so we so let's do it through and we will try also to fix this clipping issue uh, i have hmm, not i have but i have wrote the uh, clipper uh, in vec in not vector unit but in emotion engine core like in this c plus plus um, yeah, it's based on the Leonardo Ono work, yeah, uh, from the GitHub, uh, and it works, but it's not not uh, the perf the performance is not very good, yeah. So, yeah, let's let's try to use it by clipping code. Um, to do it, we must change the thrust and cutting to precise, which in checking precisely every part of the model. Uh, for thrust and cutting, and we must enable full clip check checks, and it's cutting uh, it's cutting every like for every thrust and plane, yeah. So let's compile again and see what we will have. Okay, and it looks correct, but as you see. There is something wrong with the with the performance. It's lo it, like slowing. Like it's sometimes faster, sometimes slower. And as you said, as I'm said, yeah, the performance on Clipper in uh, written in C++ in Emotion Engine is not Emotion Engine Core is not very good. And there is an, another way how we can fix it. And it uh, it is a fake clipping. Uh, which was very popular uh, in PlayStation 2 era. So maybe I will describe it a bit, a little. Um, maybe I will show you a picture of the driving and view thrust on. Yeah, and it was very popular to do like a uh, simple trick. Uh, so when the triangle is big and it's outside, driving thrust on, it is cut, yeah. So it's disappearing from the screen. And why is disappearing? Because uh, if we will not cut it, we will have clipping visual glitches, which are uh, like wars of this, this this triangle disappearing. Maybe I will show you the code, how how it works. Mm. Let's go to the vector unit one assembly files. Yeah. Mm, this will be in the macro, I think. So let's go to shared. And uh, I wrote macro for this. It was clip something. Yeah, it's right there. So um, we are just checking every vertex if it's inside the uh, driving fr driving thrust arm or driving area, how to say it. And if it if it is outside, we are telling the graphic synthesizer to not render it. Yeah, and that is causing this triangle disappearing so uh, maybe I will show you how to fix it with better performance and this is the better way to do it so I will remove this uh, this my clipping uh, way and uh, let's go back to the blender so we should open blender again import Oops. maybe let's move these two files and copy our renamed files it will be faster and let's open um where is over there let's open stone bridge 
Okay. And um, did you go to wireframe mode? Or yeah, go to select model, go to edit mode, and maybe go to faces selection. Um, and yeah, uh, this triangle disappearing problem is uh, is visible mostly for this large triangle because they are like. Uh, showing partially in, in in view frustum and sometimes outside the partially in during frustum and view frustum yeah so we can fix it in fix it in simple way uh, so we can just subdivide these large polygons yeah so we can select them so check subdivide subdivide let's find another large angles maybe select something like this and and all this and the problem should not be visible now and we don't have to enable the emotion engine clipping code yeah so let's export this OPG let's check if we have yeah, normal UVs okay and go to not there but Stonebridge OBG and it exported so let's copy it again to the Rest directory, replace, and uh, let's run the code again. The assets will be copied automatically. Okay, and let's check. Yeah, as you see, the performance is okay. And let's check the if, if the clipping problem is is here. Yeah, and as you see, there is no clipping problem. We can move move camera how how we want to and it's okay so that's it for the static model and we can go to the animated model right now so maybe let's close it mm, close it close this stack these tabs close this template uh, sorry not template but tutorial and we will work in this tutorial right now animation tutorial so let's go back to the blender but import this, this stegosaurus or how to say it well, let's call it stego yeah so move it import uh, fbx so so fbx yeah yes mm. okay and as you see stego stegosaurus was uh, imported maybe let's go to textures view where the te yeah textures are there and these big things are the bones yeah so you can just for example select one ha huh. to select them you must go to the pose mode uh, right here and you can just select the bone for example <coughs> click rotate air button yeah and it's we can rotate one of the bones so let's let's animate it um, let's open the timeline Mm -hmm. and think how many frames we will have mm, maybe let's go with we'll just two yeah we have simple animation but for example you can uh, create i don't know 20 frames and for example from one to five there will be walk animation and you can loop it entire on or for example from six to i don't know nine will be jump or something so you can uh, create many animation yeah and um, play only selected frames in Tyra engine so uh, let's try to animate it uh, we'll try to animate two bones mm, so we must uh, first uh, rotate the bone yeah so if you want to stick to for example x axis let's click x now yeah and we are like animated over the x axis so let's do it and now right click insert keyframe and the rotation so we did it and oops, oops, maybe let's rotate another bone let's click on this bone and uh, rotate it here and right click rotation okay and let's go to the second keyframe this is by the way called, uh, named something like morph animation old school yeah it was very popular in quake uh, 2 so let's maybe again um, rotate these two bones 
so put them back right click insert keyframe rotation and from this to front insert keyframe rotation and let's check how it will look oh. yeah yeah uh, it it's look very awkward <laughs> but Tyra will animate between these uh, between just between two these two keyframes and it will look smoother so uh, we have an animation and we have two things we must check the police count as we did before and we must export the textures because F, uh, textures are stored in the fbx file so to export, export the textures we should uh, save now the blender file into some directory maybe let's go to save us desktop stego maybe i will create folder blend or something save us and now we can go to file external data and unpack resources yeah this first option and now if you will go to the stego plan yeah we have the texture directory here and these are all all of the textures okay we have the textures and let's uh, go to the um, to the modifiers so we must go to object mode uh, open the model properties yeah and there is a very important thing for the animated model you must add two modifiers uh, first will be the decimate which you know okay and second is a triangulate and I will tell you why we must add triangulate. And now let's um, also set or keep like keep the proper order. So as first we should decimate our model. Next we should triangulate it. And the last is the armature. And I will tell you why. As first we should like uh, decrease the police count, yeah, because I saw that there is a lot of police. And triangulate is here because we want to have consistent triangulation be between frames uh, we will ex export obg files yeah so um, for example if we will have four keyframes we will export four obg files and um, it's very important to have, have have this modifier and this will keep our triangulation uh, in the same way for every file and okay and armature yeah it's for the for the animation for the boss uh, let's go to the decimate and fix this face count because it's too large maybe let's change it manually to something like no 0 0.05 aha 0 dot 0 .05, yeah. yeah and it's it's uh, it's better yeah so we can export it Let's go to export obg and not to the stone bridge but to the stego Aha, and there is another important thing let's check animation so blender will export multiple obg files and we should keep the vertex order but not not triangulate faces because we did it here yeah so just well, not the stone bridge stego. let's export okay it's done so where it is it is here yeah maybe let's open this in windows 3d viewer yeah it looks correct but not correct yeah there are no textures so let's uh, um, fix it first and uh, yeah as you see we have four files here two obg and two mtl and uh, these MTL files are duplicated, so we can just remove one of them and have only one. And let's fix the MTL uh, path. So for this, for this first, oh, maybe let's op open all of them. This, this one. Okay, so uh, let's maybe also rename this to Stigo. No, and open again and let's fix the mtl file name so there's a stego here and stego 
here. Uh, okay, mm, and let's fix the texture. As you see, uh, there is wrong. Uh, yeah, like Blender just try, try to guess where the where the textures there, but where the textures are. But let's fix it manually. So let's remove this path. Paths, yeah, see how. Oh, or maybe just do it smarter. Replace with, uh, with nothing. Yeah, it's, it was fixed. Okay, and let's copy the textures here. Mm, yeah, maybe let's create a folder because there is a lot of mess. So close all of this, uh, and I will call the new folder export or something of Pyra. This, these files and copy the all the textures, paste it, and uh, open MTL, and that's it. And as you see, there is something uh, funny in this in this file. Uh, there is one material with E out JPEG, yeah, and one material also with E out. Uh, this is like. Uh, pretty, yeah, pretty bad for Tyra because Tyra will try to load uh, both of the textures, yeah, like keep both the, like this texture twice in RAM, yeah. So we can fix this model manually and by just replacing this eball out there with eball in OBG files, and then we will uh, can to remove this this material because yeah, it's wasteful to to have like the same material twice. So let's open these this both OVG files and tweak them. You you not must do it, yeah, but I will do it. So just just for the example. So let's um, let's try to find this evil author. Yeah, and replace all evil author with evil. Yeah, because the same. Save and do the same trick here save and now you can remove this material completely yeah save okay mm, so that's pretty it and now we should fix the uh, textures yeah as i did earlier so maybe i will speed it up and do it okay so i have textures there uh, i mostly converted them to the palettized mode but this one is the in RGB because it's uh, only one color and Tyra doesn't support um, one bit palettized <laughs> textures yes yeah? so just remember that this is the RGB and all of them are the palettized 8 bit so let's let's try to import this uh, in Tyra so let's copy this stuff Go to yeah animation res and maybe open not open but create new folder names. Go paste this stuff and let's change the build directory to five animation. Okay and. Uh, And let's change the source code. So we should as first uh, maybe change the scale to something smaller. We will try to guess <coughs> guess it. Uh, let's change the animation count. Uh, yeah, in Tyra, if animation count is one, it will try, for example, to load you know, my model uh, that obg. Yeah, but if he, if count is larger than one. If it try to load this, yeah. So, for example, if count is two, it will try to load these two files, yeah. So let's change count to two and starting index as one, uh, because we have two keyframes to obg files. And change it to stingo and here, how I name it? Stingo, yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah, sequence. 
you can arrange, as, as, as I said, sequence for, of the animation. So for example, if you have 10, uh, 10 keyframes, you can arrange it like here, you are 6, seven, six to 7, or, and that's it. And uh, you can arrange your animation from these keyframes, yeah? You can uh, set them to loop or not to loop, yeah? You can uh, do whatever you want. Uh, let's let's comment it so Tyra will load default sequence. Um, default sequence is from the beginning to from the beginning to, to, to end, yeah. So it will animate through the two uh, keyframes and for the textures, let's uh, let's change to Stigo also. Uh, and to be honest, we can try to load it. So let's compile. Okay, we have error there. What is the error? EL.png. Hmm. Probably I I forgot to. Yeah, forgot about one of the textures. So give me a second, I will fix it. Yeah, my textures are okay. Uh, I have typos in my MTL file. Uh, as you see, um, yeah, it was evil. evil. Uh, I had. Um, EL.jpg, yeah, the extension doesn't matter. EL, but here evil, yeah. Be a front noise, and I have front noise. Let me just uh, fix fix this name, yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, it worked. Oh my god, it's too big. <laughs> Definitely too big. Maybe let's do something with the scale. I will try to no, one, 0 0.5 now, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's okay. And as you see, it looks correct. So we did the animation and uh, that's pretty it, yeah? Uh, maybe I will show you uh, some some funny, funny thing. Uh, Tyra supports uh, yeah, light map. Uh, texture, uh, textured model and also model without texture, yeah, so with only color. So for example, we can uh, comment some of the some of the textures and Tyra will also load it, load this uh, model, but with, uh, with, with the color, probably the color will be this, yeah, some white, the gray white color, so you can change it there. Uh, okay, let's see how it will look. Yeah, it's on, also working, and as you said, as I said, uh, the color there is a gray color in the skin. So we can go now to the to the music and the sound effects. Okay, I prepared two uh, two MP3 files. First is the punch. This will be our sound effect, and second is the background music. Yeah, and um, as first we should convert them to proper wave format. So I will use audio converter shipped with the AIM player. And uh, let's just copy, right, move them both. And we should set uh, format to wave and uh, 22k uh, kilo, kilohertz yeah, and 16 bit. So let's uh, let's do it, okay. And uh, we will move them to to one of the tutorials. So let's let's go to a uh, tutorial, audio tutorial, yeah. Let's paste it, and yeah. Mm, we we'll uh, in this tutorial uh, there are two things like not in this one in this one two things we are playing better music and playing sound effect we will try to replace them both yeah so as first uh, when it comes to background music uh, there are no further changes needed so we can just change the name to for example music wave music wave and 
it should work and when it comes to the sound effect we should convert wave file to a dpcm sample how we can do it it's very simple uh, we need to run one one of the uh, vs code tasks so let's yeah let's convert wave to adpcm mm. vs code ask us for uh, for the path to this wave file um, relative to the to the repository directory so it will be um, tutorials uh, 06 audio res and uh, not sound but, but punch punch wave let's copy this path because it will be needed in a second yeah it's okay yeah and it's now it's asking us for the adpcm path so again tutorial 06 audio res punch but not wave but adpcm press enter and as you see, we have converted a DPCM file. So now we can remove the punch wave file and replace shot a DPCM with punch a DPCM. Okay, so let's let's run this sample. Oops, I forgot to change the bit directory. Six uh, and compile again. Yeah, as you hear, it works. Uh, and I think that's it for this tutorial. Yeah, so thank you for watching.